In this video, we want to show you how to customize the numbers board in order to get your numbers board done. So, let's begin. In order to work with numbers board, basically we're talking about two things. The buttons, the numbers on the main board, and the hovering of the numbers, when we hover over each of the number, we have to design the first one, the normal board. And when we hover over one of the numbers, we got its hovering icon or hovering image. And also we're talking about the number itself. And when we're talking about this, we're talking about the, the, the number itself. So you need to design this inside of Unity 3D, but you need a design tool like Photoshop or like Adobe Illustrator as we did for alphabet board sections. So you need uh, to design the ladder tracing part and you need to also design the ladder tracing point. So we start from here to here. This is the first part we starting from here to here this is the second part so we got two parts and you can put tracing point across this part in order to know where you are and the same thing for the second part we did this for alphabet board so i'm not gonna go th to the design process you should be a graphic designer to do design this letter and we showed you how to design this using alphabet board course in this video we want to show you how to take this number from here and put it inside of Unity 3D. So this is the first thing we need. We need the tracing part and we needed the complete part which is basically gonna look something similar to this. So it's a wide number and you got the completed number as you can see here after you finish the tracing points you're gonna see uh, the, the number completed here. So we need these one, two, three, four images in order to design the numbers board. Yeah, so let's begin with the numbers board. You can download the package here and customize it later on, but let's get started with this customization video. So I'm just gonna start with a number num with number nine. So let me just go and delete this number. So right now I need to import the assets. So I just basically got uh, uh, the assets here. So you can go to the sprites folder. You can see here we got all the numbers. So we just put the sprite here and split it out to many icons as you can see here. So the first thing you need to do, just go into the 0 to 9 here, the the array, and basically it's an object, and in the other, I just need to create a, an empty object to it, and I'm just going to name it as n-9, and click enter on the keyboard. Drag this object inside of the numbers here, so make sure it's within this, you know, just an organization. After this, we need to add uh, the, the rigid body to the uh, we make it fixed angle and kinematic and also we need to add a, a sprite render and box collider and we just add box 2d box collider to it and also we need to add a sprite render 2d sprite render or oh, you can add sprite render and mainly here we got the sprite render I need to add a sprite so basically I got the sprite which is basically here all right and also I need to add a button so we have a script here called button so just add the button script and uh, when you add the button script you need to um, just change the icons we have normal icon we got hover icon so basically i'm just gonna ch choose the normal icon which is nine and just gonna choose also um the hover 
the hoover icon which is here just gonna be uh, 9 underscore this one alright so we added the numbers 9 and numbers 9 hoover icon uh, next I need to attach a tag to this number which is UI button after this we need to play with the size for the, of this number so if you go to take the size for example for number 8 it's gonna be 1.45 so I'm just gonna come here and just change the scale of the number to 1.45 1.45 all right so you can zoom out you can see we got the object there but we need to play with the position so if you go to number 4 you can see it's here it's 5.7 from the x-axis so I need to take this position to here and it looks good alright so you can see here we got the number 9 and uh, we need to play with the box collider because see if you see the collider we just need to increase it to just cover all the number so right now just put it and just can't play and you can see here it's hovering same as the other numbers so in the next video we want to see how to link this, this number to the next uh, scene and just start drawing the number so see you in the next video Alright guys, uh, welcome to this video. We want to show you how to link the number 9 to the scene that we can start writing or tracing the number. So basically, we're talking about uh, the button here and we should have an event that takes this, uh, uh, you know, button to the next page. So we have an event here, a message, specified message called uh, load number event so here the message load number it takes the sprite render component and also it takes the message object so if we go to number nine we have to put the message object which is the message uh, event which is load numbers and here you need to just put the sprite render component which is going to be n9 and also you need to type the message object so we're just going to select it here which is going to be in 9 so this is pretty much what gonna happen so how do we load uh, uh, the load number event so if you go to the main camera we got and uh, but where do we got the events object or where it is attached it's attached here inside the main camera we put the event script that's gonna take any event from other components and other object and just execute it there so we got this event and input handler right now we just want to we don't want to work with input handler we don't we want to work with events so if you open the event script find the the uh, function name which is load number and you can see here we got load number event which is gonna take an object and this object is called object op and what is this object this is the object that we send uh, when we send the message so we we have here um, the other uh, the UI button we got the message load number and we just give it the message object which is n9 so this is pretty much what is going on here all right so we are here guys and we just load the number we give it the object if object is equal null we return we don't do anything if we got an object we just say writer writing handler the current number index is equal to we just make parsing object we split the you know we split according to the dash and we just take the first place which is basically the number of the splitted um, you know object and next after we get the you know the current index of the number we just 
load the level for numbers writing so the handler gonna take the current index so this is be very critical here because you need to know what is the current number so that's why we just put inside the handler we put an attribute called um, current number and current number index and this is basically a static variable that's going to take the number and just when we go to the scene where do we write the number we're just going to start writing the specified number and we're going to load this the, the the selected index for the number so uh, this is pretty much uh, how we handle uh, the different numbers we just that's why we put the hyphen we put you know just a visualized way of doing things but we just split according to the name here so yeah so that's why when we when we uh, we have two scenes the number scene and the numbers writing when we click on the number nine we're gonna load to the number writing uh, page so basically click nine gonna take you to the number writing page but hey, how do we add the numbers to uh, this screen? We're going to see that in the next video. All right, guys, on um, the previous video, we saw how to add uh, the number to the board and how to click on it and generate the event that's going to call the next scene. So we go to this scene and we got we give it the object and we just load it here. So right now we can trace it. This is pretty much what we want to do in this video. We want to make and uh, generate uh, the letter tracing part points all that in the numbers writing scene. So let's go to the number writing scene. We got the main camera and which is pretty much here. We got the, the background, we got the menu, the general, the numbers, the wind dialogue, the hand. Uh, basically, we want to work first with numbers. And here we got the numbers. Uh, they are invisible, so you can't activate them. We have the number 0 to the number 9 here. So basically, I'm just going to go and delete number 9 and re-add it again, just to give you the scenario how to add numbers there. So basically we got numbers and numbers we have uh, a numbers object and basically we have a size for it right now we got 10 we got from 0 to 9 but we have the missing object which is number 9 if you want to add more numbers you can add this and increase the size of this game object which is basically an array inside the writing the writing handler so let's back to the track here we got numbers we want to add a new number uh, to the numbers object so basically just gonna go game object create new and just gonna name it as 8 dash or let me say 9 dash number and click enter so here just add it to the numbers uh, as you can see here so after you add it to the numbers, you need to go to the numbers object and basically add uh, the number to the numbers here. So basically just drag and drop that object here. After that, we need to add some tracing point. We add sprite render, rigid body, polygon collider, 2D. So basically just go number 9. Just make it here. And we need to add the 2D sprite renderer to it. So you just find the sprite renderer. You can find sprite sprite renderer. And just need to select the shape, the filled shape. We have the shaded or the you know tracing bath illustration and we got also the filled shape so we need this because we need to assign to it a polygon collider to the sh the area the bolded area so just select it select nine you can um, control the position of that number here 
and uh, we need to add the polygon collider to it so let's say rigid body 2d first and we need also to add a polygon collider polygon collider so after you add the polygon collider see all the shaded area is selected as collided area so this is what we need that's why we need this shape so after you add this this you can go and change the sprite to the tracing bath points uh, shape here this is pretty much a trick that's gonna help you to achieve what we want after this we need to add another game object to the tracing the number nine we're gonna name it tracing point tracing points just drag it there and aside tracing points we're talking about different uh, tracing points to the shape but first we need to divide the shape into tracing parts so according to the diagram here we got first tracing part which is number one and we've got a second tracing part we've got two tracing part to this game object so I need to go to the number and add to it something called the tracing part component so we can find tracing part component which is pretty much here the size of it we gotta make it later on but let me just add the second tracing part because we need two and because we need two we start from one so we need to give the first tracing part priority one and for the second tracing part priority two because it's the second in the priority and for the number itself we need to give it a tag called number to make it number right and this is pretty much fine until now uh, next we want to work with tracing points so I need to add the first tracing point so I'm just gonna add a tracing point here and add a component to it called tracing point and we're gonna make, give it an index number one because we want to start from the first tracing point I need to also add a bodygon collider and add a and make it this trigger because we want to trigger it in the code and also we need a rigid body 2d make sure it's fixed angle kinematic so we got this uh, tracing point you need to move it inside the tracing points here so we can uh, control the size of it by clicking shift in the keyboard we begin from the number one here so click shift in the keyboard it's gonna fix the shape so this is the first tracing point we got tracing board, we got polygon collide, we got rigid body um, and here you need to give it the tag tracing point so this is pretty much about this tracing point I need to double I need to give it an index as we said and I need to duplicate make more than one so duplicate this we got another tracing point I need to move it a little bit to the top click shift in the keyboard wait a minute click on the tracing point itself just control the size of the tracing point this is the second tracing point we need to make another one but don't forget to give it index number two to this one all right so we give it index number two we need to duplicate it and put it somewhere like somewhere here is good I guess yeah this is the second or third tracing point I need to add another tracing point but make sure the index also is correct so this is number three we go here I need to move it a little bit down let's say here this is gonna be my fourth tracing point so you got here one two one two three four tracing points I need to add additional 
tracing point to the second part so I need to duplicate this and move it here so this is gonna be my fifth tracing point so I'm just gonna give it the index of 5 and I'm just gonna duplicate this one and move it here this is gonna be my last tracing point number six all right so right now we got one two three four five six tracing parts and this is pretty much awesome uh, the next step we want to add this tracing point to the uh, number tracing part so basically just gonna go to the tracing part to the number and got the first tracing part we're talking about one two three four tracing parts so the size of it gonna be four click enter just gonna generate to you four elements you just need to type the tracing points in order so here we finish the first tracing part I'm just gonna go to the second the tracing part and start start adding the another other tracing points here we got one two three in case this is one this is two this is three so because we want to begin from here all the way ba back to the end so this is going to be one the first one so one five and six so basically just going to put here the size of it is three and we're talking about the order is one five and six all right so this is is the way we added all the numbers and uh, the tracing parts tracing points I can right now um, deactivate the number so make sure that you deactivate the number and when you turn it on you turn all the rest of the child objects on so but right now we want to deactivate it because we want to activate it from the code in runtime so that's why we need to hide it from here so right now I can just try to run the scene and see what is going on so let me move to the number nine well we we got the that we got the numbers nine and it's pretty much good but we can see that uh, uh, the number should be kinematic and fixed and an angle because if you don't put it like that it's gonna be fall by mass and gravity so make sure you put you stick these two here so save the scene run it and let me just go number nine again well here we got it try to trace the parts we couldn't do that why let's see here we got the number they are they are there we got tracing part we got tracing point we got the number and it's got the tag got the tag tracing point object here is pretty much fine and uh, we got everything related but we get something missing here and let me just make sure figure it out um, so back to number nine uh, make sure that um, you got the position in zero for the Z index and uh, also make sure that you got the order of layers number one and uh, here we're talking about tracing point make sure that you got all the pro uh, all the numbers here one two three four correct here yeah, three one five six correct uh, for the tracing point make sure that you got the index correctly assigned so one three four five six cool and make sure it's triggered and we are in the default area we got the tracing parts already there With the priority and 
everything sounds good all right so one more thing to to be careful about is the colliders so here inside the for example number eight let me just hide number nine if you go number eight and just show it if you go to 2d you can see here we got the number if you put a selection tool here the hand tool you can see the collider or the tracing point are above the the you know the the body of the eight so they are above it you see so be careful when you work with this because it must be above the other collider so the tracing points collider should and must be above the polygon collider of the number or of the shape so this is something to uh, consider so if we go to 9 right now I'm just gonna go to 2d mode and just run number 9 go to 3d mode you can see here the the collider we got a problem here the collider and the the, the number are on the same index on the C, in same Z index so what we can do here by going to the no, number nine go to tracing points just select them all let me just select control on the keyboard and after you select them all you can go to the uh, you know the move tool here and just move them to the above little bit above the the the, the original number so right now if you select the number you can see and select the hand tool you can see they are above the original collider so we can trigger them right now so back to 3d mode and we can just hide this number nine again and try run the game and move to reach number nine so as you can see here it works just fine but here you need to start from this place if you start from two it's not going to work you have to start from one as we agreed wow we got it so we got the number nine and it's perfectly uh, working fine you can navigate back here and just draw it again and work with it in the next video we want to see how to uh, to make the winning dialogue so when we win the game we can see the uh, winning dialogue, the congratulation uh, uh, winning dialogue. So in this video, we want to see how to add it into the game. So sa thank you guys for watching this video. See you in the next lesson. Welcome everybody to this lesson. Uh, the previous demos we saw how to uh, make the tracing for the numbers so like we did for other numbers like number nine here we want to start with number zero so I click on it I got this dialogue but hey wait a minute how to design this wedding dialogue how to customize it how to work with it so in order to answer this question first thing you need to know here we're talking about sprites so uh, we, previously when we work with a sprite we got numbers sprites which is basically a file here let me just replace the background just to give you we got these numbers and we just import them into unity and it's using the sp sprite splitter we just split each number alone so this is pretty much what we did so back to unity um, we want to customize the winning dialogue but how to work with it first thing you have to to know that we got a winning dialogue inside the package here called winning dialogue it's inside the scene of uh, numbers writing scene so if you click on it you're gonna see it here so if you open the winning dialogue you can see we got the congratulations text which is basically a sprite and a text 
sprite uh, png file and we got exit which is also a sprite and we got you finish which is also a text sprite but you finished here we just made it as a um, text so we ma we made the game object and give it a mesh render and we just added a text mesh to it so that's why you can see here we can customize the text um, also we got the number image which is basically the image of the number you can uh, uh, change it and customize it every time we win the level we just display the winning dialog we're gonna uh, change the number image sprite so basically it's a sprite render uh, we got the next and the back button and the home button all these are button and uh, basically we just add the message here load number menu and here we load number menu and here uh, we just uh, in the exit button we just also close winning dialog message which is basically gonna call an event inside inside the events here we got we have we can see the close win dialog it's gonna take um, you know it's gonna take uh, a message close wind dialog so we just gonna call this uh, method without sending any object here as you can see here we don't see we don't send any object so basically we got just gonna call, call the close wind dialog and we just gonna say writing handler the set active current number index set active true and menu set active true and game object line renderer is equal to game object find objects by line render because we want to take the current line render where we uh, write the lines on the shape so that's why we save them inside the line renders array and we move them and we just enable them back using the line the gate component enabled and for the circle circle points uh, we need to find them again and we also we need to uh, enable them again in case that we have uh, circle points not line not curved line because sometimes uh, in the in the numbers we don't have that but in the in the uh, in case of letters we have for example I I is a single touch so it's a circle point that's why you have to care about this but winning dialog the symbol is padding equal false so we just gonna hit hide it using uh, you know using this uh, using this method all right so this is pretty much uh, the way that uh, we work with the different components here the winning dialogue if you can see it, it's animator we just set the animator give the animator the bool and we just say is fading false and this is gonna run the animator for the winning dialog which is if you go to the animation animator here we got is fading out so we're just gonna run the is fading out method and this is gonna be triggered only when the flag the flag is false so that's this is the case so for right now if we go to the scene and try see what is going on here back to the game and run you can see you've got the dialogue so it's fading in and it's fading out so we control uh, basically uh, the status is the status is here of the fading in fading out according to um, the flag that we have here all right so this is a pretty much uh, you just got just an, an overview of the winning dialogue but how to customize it uh, basically if you go to the numbers we saw how to customize the numbers but if you want to customize the winning dialogue which is basically here inside the scene uh, we need to customize the number for example so the number is called here number image so we need to change this number image to basically a sprite so you can change it to whatever you want 
so I just put the color here for this sprite render it's red you can uh, choose the color that you want but this is the first thing the no, uh, number image after that if you go to the main camera uh, we can see here we got input handler and uh, inside the input handler we got events and uh, here inside the events we can see that we just take the wind dialog and drag it and drop it inside the wind dialog because we want to execute it when a specified event happened so when we send the message to close we need a reference to the wind dialog so that's why we need it here inside the event object so basically we just drag the wind dialog over the main camera events all right for the general object uh, we don't have anything associated with uh, but for the numbers object we have something important here in the previous lesson we saw how to add the number uh, basically the number nine and the uh, screen here but we didn't see how to add the numbers to the dialog so basically we have inside the numbers object we have something called um, the end sprite and what is the end sprite just basically a sprite, a sprite array of the sprite so every number got an index for example number nine got an index of for example 10 so when I well, let me say number nine got an index number nine because it started from zero so number nine is gonna be nine in the array so when we are when when I in number nine I just I should load no, the image index number nine so basically it's a spray it's sp sprite uh, array so if you have more you can change the size uh, for the number nine for example I can click and choose the image that I want so when I go to the winning dialog so I just want to cancel the maximize and play to just give you an illustration let's go to number nine so I'm inside number nine right now um, oh whoa, whoa 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 what is going on it's not working so it's not working because you have to to care about uh, maybe the number nine which is basically here yeah if you remember we changed the collider but it seems we didn't save that so make sure that you just take these colliders and move them just a little bit above the shape so this is what we did here I just want to win this I finally <laughs> win it so I just win it and I, as you can see here we just change the sprite image to 9 as you can see here so this is pretty much how to customize uh, how to customize the dialogue and how to change uh, you know to change its uh, its shape its sprite but make sure that when you change this uh, in the numbers you should select uh, the 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 win dialog number so make sure you just drag it and drop it over here because each time we're just gonna change this to the number image and uh, this is pretty much uh, and also we need the reference to in the writer handler we need the reference for the win dialog and win dialog number so that's why you have to drag the wind dialog over there and also you need to ha drag the rest of the things that we're talking about here which are uh, yeah w which are mainly the, 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 the number and the wind dialog alright so we got also um, Mm, other references for the menu that we have on the left uh, we got other reference for the land render for the circle point prefab and for drawing material all these are references inside uh, the number object and we got also the cheering sound the positive sound the wrong sound which are basically customizable and for the music in the background it's in general objects audio source 
and uh, basically uh, we just started this audio source by uh, when we start the game so um, that th that is basically what is going on here so this is pretty much a complete guide guys to customize uh, the game to customize its dialogue and just quick overview of how uh, to customize this package from the unity asset store so thank you guys for watching this video see you in other lesson in other tutorials and in other videos and courses